In the Gospel of John, in John chapter 19, as Jesus is on the cross, at the foot of the cross stand his mother and the beloved disciple, in addition to the women who are mentioned in the other Gospels. And Jesus, in the midst of his pain, looks down at these two people who are so close to him and so important to him. And he says, woman, behold your son, son, behold your mother. I like to look at this from the human perspective that Jesus is making sure that his mother will be cared for because he is her firstborn son. And that is the responsibility of a firstborn son to care for his parents in their old age. So he gives his mother to his beloved disciple, John, who is so uh, important and close to him. And in doing so, he is creating, he's starting to create a body of Christ where that beloved disciple becomes Jesus' brother, as we all become Jesus' brothers and sisters and one family within him. It's a remarkable thing. Just as Jesus is about to die, in the Gospel of Luke, he says, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. This is a quote from Psalm 31 and indicates that even the timing of Jesus' death is under his control. It's not that death takes him, it's that he releases his spirit to the Father. They're together in this event of bringing salvation. And in the Gospel of John, he says, it is finished. He senses that moment, that moment of completion.